Bailey. Yeah. What are you doing? I am learning about serial killers. What? Yeah. Elaborate. I am looking up different serial killers and finding out information that a lot of people don't know about them. I'm using this book as a reference. Lots of information. You have a weird hobby. I know, but it's fun. So, for the last couple of days, I've been absent, but I have a good reason to. I, I, at least I think it's a good reason. It's not the best reason, but I know I've, I've been very neglectful of my channel, but I've been doing a lot. I haven't been lazy, so I'm gonna update you guys because there's a lot to talk about, and I'm gonna have to just do this all one, one video at a time. So, here we go. What have we been doing the last couple of, like, the whole last week, I guess? We've been hanging out a lot, going to eat, and doing a lot of DoorDash dashing. So yeah, so door dashing. Um, me and Haley used to just like sometimes we'd go like get something to eat and like just like drive around for a while. And recently, because I got DoorDash, um, we found out that we have like this new system now. Because before we were just driving around for no reason. Now we drive around with a purpose. There was actually one time we went we went somewhere to eat. After we were done eating, I got an order for like eighteen dollars, and um, we just. We were in her car and we just drove to the restaurant, got the food, got it delivered, and then boom, $18 right there. Then we used that money to go get ice cream later. But basically, I've been doing a lot of DoorDash lately, and aside from all the other stuff I need to update you guys on, the biggest thing, thing so far has been DoorDash. I'm actually making money. I actually made $500 last week the whole time I was doing DoorDash. So I've been spending practically all of my time doing that. I've been doing a couple other things, but for the most part, the reason that I haven't been filming is because I've been focusing completely on trying to get DoorDash so I can get the Jeep fixed so we can, you know, start getting things moving along. So anyway, I wanted to just kind of make this video where I'm gonna tell you guys some of the stuff I learned from doing DoorDash. I did make a couple mistakes that I can't go back on, but it was, it was all a learning experience. I went on some forums and asked some people their suggestions on how to make more money, and so I'm just gonna give you guys some of the tips that I learned so that if any of you end up doing DoorDash, you can not make these same mistakes. I also found this really cool coffee shop. I think I like this one way more than Higher Grounds. Really cool, apparently it's only been here for like three months, but love the environment. It's got that like downtown feel. The coffee is amazing too, so I actually really like it here. Probably gonna start only coming here for my all my editing and things. It also stays open longer. The other place closes at two, this place closes at six, so cool. What's the number one mistake I made doing door dashes? My first time. First time. Number one mistake. Just a no. Okay, I already figured out this mistake before. Number one mistake. Number one mistake I made when I started off DoorDash was accepting on pretty much any order that wasn't completely outrageous. I was accepting orders that were like $3 to drive like four miles just because I was like so desperate. And later I found out, don't do that. Do not accept those stupid orders. So now I heard, best advice I heard so far is don't take anything less than $6 no matter what. It does not matter how short a distance is. Reason being is because let's say it is only driving a mile, but it's three dollars. You're going to have to go pick up that order. You're going to have to deliver it to that person, and then you're going to have you're not able to accept any other orders until you deliver that order. Granted, there was a time that I gave somebody a three dollar order, and they gave me a five dollar tip in cash. And that was phenomenal, fantastic, was great. But I had that was the only time that's happened to me with a $3 order, nine times out of 10, they are not going to tip you. It's just not worth the risk. You are gambling on those orders. Um, and so, like somebody told me, 99% of the time, they're not gonna tip cash if it says it's only $3. So, I just don't accept those anymore because chances are you're gonna, if you always did that, you're gonna end up making $6 an hour. And that is not deducting taxes and gas that you still have to pay to do those orders. Another thing I learned is, don't just dash whenever you're able to dash. I still do this sometimes, like for example, the other day I wasn't able to fall asleep, so instead of you know, laying in bed doing nothing, I ended up just getting in the car, 
waiting for a dash to show up. If there was a good one, I would go deliver it and then boom, $8 driving somewhere without having to you know, bother doing anything else. But other than that, if you're just trying to make money, only dash at busy times. So for me, I found out it's different per different area, different times of day. The weekends seem to be the best because that's when people feel like spending money and not leaving their homes. But just finding out when the best time is to dash, I found out for me it's around five o'clock to around nine o'clock. Seems like the busiest time. Anything after that is, is kind of excessive, but so far I've been having a lot of luck just from that like five o'clock to eight o'clock or 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock kind of area. He was a doctor. He was a doctor? Yeah, he was a doctor. He used poison to kill his patients. That's um, messed up. He, this is why I don't trust doctors. He was known for at least 8 of them, for sure, but up to 26 people. Also, Haley's going to be starting a YouTube channel soon about serial killers, apparently. So when she figures that out, I'll shout her out just for sake. But. Serial killers are a weird topic to be a fan of, so if anybody here does like them though, aside from my mom, just let me know. Yeah, my mom is like all over this stuff. I'm trying to think of what else stuff I learned. I feel like that was it, it's pretty simple. Like, don't take anything less than $1 per mile. Never accept anything less than $6. Make sure you know your area, and which places you should and shouldn't go, and what times of day to go. Uh, make sure you have gas in your car and you have a charger. I have a lot of stuff I do need to update you guys on, but like I said, I'm gonna have to do that one video at a time. And I feel like this video, I'm trying to like be really loud right now because it's a little bit noisy in here and um, I just have been waking up late. I've been doing DoorDash orders till like four o'clock in the morning lately. Um, if not DoorDash orders, I've been doing other things. I have been working on specific things that I really need to update you guys on, but I'm gonna have to have wait until I have a better opportunity to do that. So I'm going to keep you guys posted soon. I've just been really behind on like keeping everything updated and I've been working on a lot of stuff. So I want to try to get these videos up as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna quick, quick edit this video, post it up and stay tuned because I have a lot of stuff changing right now. I'm making a lot of investments into the channel so that once we get back on the road, I will have like a completely different system. Hopefully it'll be better than before. Everything will be better. It's gonna be huge, huge, big, Big channel, big changes coming soon, and so yeah, that'll be all.